feel for some celebrities. I mean, a good example is Rachel Stevens, whose dad is a complete low life. And this is a guy that was very quick to cash in on his daughter's success, used her fame to sell some pretty seedy ventures that he'd done in involving Paul. Yes, it's hard to imagine, but Rachel Stevens is certainly no daddy's girl. Her father has emerged from the gutter with a torrent of abuse against his princess. Well, Rachel was up there looking wholesome and pretty and doing nothing wrong whatsoever. Her dad's lurking in the background. First of all, he writes a, a sex manual or a sex guide to the capital called the Blue Guide. The Blue Guide to sort of, you know, Blue London, as it were. At one point, you know, there was rumours of him doing a lap dancing club and uh, he wanted her to go and open this shop that he got. Uh, consequently, she said no. And the mother and him don't get on particularly well now. And uh, she's out on the side. When the former S Club starlet refused to appear at the opening of her dad's new shop, Michael Stevens began a crusade against his daughter. It was a proper attack. It was, you know, probably the most horrible things that have ever, ever been written about her. Just saying that she was a pretty face, but, you know, a horrible person and talentless and empty and casting aspersions on her relationship, which did turn out not to work out, but still it was just, you know, she was engaged at the time. It was, it was, it was a very personal attack, but when you think it's coming from her father, it, it just, that must have hurt so much and she, she will not speak about it in interviews. It's the one thing, you know, you just don't go there and I'm sure she was, she was devastated when she read that. <laughs>